Hey, welcome, welcome. It is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. And we say, send now prosperity into the life of the believer. I am excited and delighted uh, to be back with you on this push. Uh, that's what I should start calling this, the push. Here to push you. Um, here to push you. Um, I, I, I did... Um, I was guest again on the young men's program, um, hardly uh, initiated. Uh, and I was telling them about this time that I share with you all. They was saying, we can't believe Clubhouse is still going strong. And I say, well, for those that are consistent, um, it is. Um, and uh, welcome to those on Instagram. You don't want to touch this because I got I got something that's gonna bless you. Um, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, everywhere, Clubhouse. But I was telling them um, that Monday, Wednesday, and Friday uh, we do relationship talk, and uh, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, it's about um, becoming the right one through empowerment. And I was telling them how people are blessed from it. Now, if y'all would do me a favor, because I'm on this campaign to build Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday and Sunday, um, the numbers. So I don't want you just to come here and you don't you don't do what we do during the week, because to me, I need everybody to understand this. While I understand I have a dual role as a relationship coach um, and all that. Um, but every day is important to me. Um, every day, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday is just as important. And those that are connected to my vision and team, uh, everybody should understand that these days are, are just as important to me as the other days. Matter of fact, these days prepare you for what we talk about. Um, and so if y'all could do me a favor, if y'all could share, if y'all could share, especially if you're on stage, thank you Nairobi for pinning that. And thank you, Carolyn, uh, for taking care of TikTok. Is Joy on Facebook? Joy, you here? It's about 10 of y'all over here so far on Facebook and y'all let me know who's here. Uh, so if y'all would share, Blessings to you, Carolyn. If y'all would share, um, because sharing is caring, I should be seeing in the chat that you're sharing. Um, so if you would share on today, I, I would I would certainly uh, uh, appreciate you today. Um, if you would share um, uh, and share some more, because sharing is caring. Um, these rooms to um, help you become the right one. We're in search of the right one, but um, this is to help you become the right one. I had to switch that mic so I could see my, my notes over here, y'all, that, those that can see me. Thank you, Pastor Patrick. I know he's not here, but I want to thank him for a great job as I was traveling the other day. I want y'all to pray for me next week is full gospel. And it's one of the busiest weeks of my life. And it's in Washington, DC. Um, and so y'all pray for me. Thank y'all for sharing. Thank you. I appreciate you. Let's get the numbers up. Let's share. Come on. Let's, let's get 50 shares. Just like we do any other time. Um, I, I want to talk about um, stop putting it off. Uh, hello, hello, Monique. I see you over here on Instagram. Good to see you too, Sunny J. Uh, stop. I need you to put in the comments. I need to stop putting it off. Stop putting it off. Why put off 
Why would you put off what you can do today? Anybody ever heard that before? Why put off what you can do today for when? Hmm? For tomorrow. Sierra, you get the prize. Why put off today what you can do for what for doing it tomorrow? Why why would you put off? Why would you put it off? You can do it today. In case you haven't figured it out yet, my message is really about procrastination. Procrastination is a spirit. I don't know if you know, but every, every day, every day is yesterday's tomorrow. And today will be tomorrow's past. I need y'all to share. Thank you, Teresa. Today is yesterday's future. And tomorrow, today will be tomorrow's past. Let me let me say it again, um, Fridia. Today. was yesterday's future and tomorrow will be the past of Saturday today will be tomorrow's past what have you done today to get you closer to your goal. Thank you, Carolyn. To your dream, to your future. What, what have you done in movement? I got time. The, the truth of the matter, Nina, is that if you are 50 years old, maybe even 40, Miss Freya, if you are 50, 40, if you're 40 or 50, if you are 35, it is appointed to man to have 70 years. That is your reasonable strength. So when you get 35, according to the Bible, you are halfway over. And anything that is 40 and up, you got more days in front, more days behind you than you do in front of you. I, 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 I hope y'all listening. Blessing chastity. You, you, are, are you are you listening to me? So things that used to be cute. Oh, I got time. I mean, heck, nowadays, if you turn on the news and if you live anywhere in Chicago or Detroit nowadays, you lucky if you get to be grown wrong. Procrastination. procrastination I came to tell you to stop putting it off procrastination the act of putting things off delaying and postponing something I can do it tomorrow I can do it later I gotta find time in my schedule to do it The act of putting things off, delaying and postponing something. I need you if you're watching this and you are guilty and know you are because 
Dr. Paulette, the first, the first step of recovery is admitting that you have a problem. That's why when you go to AA, they tell you to say, admit, hi, I'm Greg and I'm an alcoholic. So if you are a procrastinator and you put things off, I want you to put somewhere in one of the comments all over this social media, two letters, M-E, me. So I can know that I have the right lesson. I see y'all. Thank you for your honesty. Proverbs 27 and 1 says, do not boast about tomorrow. For you do not know what a day may bring. James 4, 17. So, so, who, so whoever knows the right thing to do. So whoever knows the right thing to do. So whoever knows the right thing to do and fails to do it. For him. It is sin. No, Bishop, sin is lying, stealing, cheating, and having adultery and fornication. No, doing what you know you're supposed to do and don't do it is sin. Hmm? The soul of the sluggard craves and gets nothing. They just crave it. They just talk about it while the soul of the diligent is richly supplied. Proverbs 12 and 24, the hand of the diligent will rule while the slothful will put be put to forced labor. Proverbs 27 and 1, do not boast about tomorrow. I read that. Procrastination. Procrastination is the act of delaying or putting off task until the last minute or past their deadline. Some researchers define procrastination as a form of self-regulation failure characterized by the irrational delay of tasks despite potentially negative consequences. We know, we know when we procrastinating that there could be a Hey, ghetto kid scam, kid, kid cam. We know that when we put off paying a bill that there is a penalty. We know paying our bills slow will cause our credit, but we ignore. We ignore deadlines. Why, why, why do you procrastinate? Why, why, why do people procrastinate? Why? Because procrastination is an excuse, which is a lie wrapped up. I believe that an excuse is a lie wrapped up. We got to go to work, y'all. If you take a note, you're going to have to go fast because I got a lot to cover in, in 45 minutes. We often come up with a number of excuses or rationalization to justify our behavior. What, where could you be if you didn't procrastinate so much? What would you be doing in life if you had not put off so many things? Somebody say, teach, my bishop. Say, teach, 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 teach. I need y'all to share. <laughs> Barbette say, hello, my name is Barbette. And I'm a procrastinator. Thank you, Barbette. According to the things that I'm about to give you are reasons why. Hmm? 15 reasons why people say they procrastinate. Number one, not not I I y'all, I can't, I can't, I can't elaborate on them all, okay? Number one, not knowing what needs to be done. Liar. Huh? Not knowing what needs to be done. I don't know what needs to be done. So you put it off instead of asking somebody. Number two, not knowing how to do something. 
and you won't seek counsel from somebody asking them how to do it so you just don't do it number three not doing something not wanting to do something we procrastinate because we just don't want to do it not caring if it gets done or not not caring if it gets done or not just don't care i don't care if it gets done i just don't care huh not caring when something gets done not caring if it gets done not caring y'all bring a, a prophet of sonia not caring when it when something i don't care when it gets done just as long as it get done i don't care if it get done at the last minute I mean, Dr. Paulette, stop being so sensitive. <laughs> huh? Not feeling in the mood to do it. I'm, I'm just, I'm not in the mood. And now your house look like it's falling on itself. Because you ain't been in the mood to clean up for, for, for days. Hmm? Being in the habit of Waiting until the last minute. Oh, I work better under pressure. I don't want to work with nobody that wants to work under pressure. You ain't going to make my nerves bad. Hmm? Believing that you work better under pressure. I work better under pressure. Oh, my God. I'm going to get it done, Bishop. I just work so much better at I love to be under the gun. I love to be under the wire. I love when I have to, because I just work better. It's better for me. It's better for me. Oh, you put me, you put me uh, at the last minute. I love to be under that pressure. You just crazy as a road lizard going across the track and see the train coming, about to get split. Why would you like pressure? Who likes pressure? Hmm? Believe and make yourself believe. Oh, I work better under pressure. Give it to me under pressure and I'll turn it around. And you get on all of our nerves who like to plan. Thinking that you can finish it at the last minute is another. You like going to, you like, you like if the deadline is midnight, you like being, and you got to have a stamp mark. You like being in line at 11.58. I got the stamp, I got it on there. That's too much foolishness. And then finally, number 15, lacking the initiative to get started. You ain't got no initiative. You have no initiative. You have no get up and go in, in you. That's not, that's not number 15. I'm sorry. Huh? Got about four more. Lacking the initiative to get started. Hmm? I don't know, Deshaun. Why are y'all like that? Because I'm not a procrastinator. This is the first time I could sit up here and just, whew. huh? And then we used to say, I just forgot. It was never on your cotton picking mind. I just forgot. Woo, Bishop, I forgot. You getting on my nerves. I'm not you. I forgot. You forget what's not important. You forget what's not a priority. You know, you know what the offering going to be called today? I'm really teasing you, okay? It's going to be called a sin offering. <laughs> the offering is a repentance. Y'all delete Mark, please. Um, <coughs> uh, uh, I'm just feeling so bad. I can't get it done. Are you breathing? Are you moving? See, some of y'all couldn't really work for me. 
blaming sickness or poor health on your procrastination. <coughs> Y'all just come on up with them sin offerings. Get them ready. Huh? Waiting for the right moment. I'm just waiting for the right moment. I'm just waiting for the right moment. I'm just waiting for the right moment. I ain't, you ain't did nothing to me, Carol Carol and apologize because you're talking about, I'm sorry, Dad, what did I do to you? Huh? Which one you a witness to? I'm just waiting for the right moment. I'm just waiting for the right break. I'm just waiting for the right, it's procrastination. You just waiting for the right moment. The right moment ain't never coming. It ain't never going to be right. And you bragging, I'm a pro girl. I'm such a procrastinator, girl, girl. I could, I could have got it done, but I'm such a procrastinator. You wearing it like as a doggone badge. I'm just waiting for the right moment. My right moment come. It's gonna be the right moment to move to Tennessee, Carolyn. I'm just waiting for the right moment, Bishop. Dad, Dad, Bishop. I'm waiting for the right moment. I'm just waiting for the right moment. <laughs> Prophet Jerry, I ain't never heard you say that. I'm being nice about it, though. Huh? I just need time to think about doing it. Just give me some time. I dated somebody like that. They would say, I just need some time. Don't my mind don't move like that. I ain't got that kind of mind like y'all. You just can just get up and do it. Procrastinator. Procrastinator. Hmm? Procrastinator. You procrastinator. Hey, Chanel. Bless you. Huh? You're a procrastinator. Look at look at Charles' picture. It says probably what y'all feeling. I just need some time. I just need some time. Can I can I get back with you in fourteen days? No. You know what deadline means. My bishop, Bishop Morton, said this, Prophet Jerry. You know what you know what deadline means. It means the line is dead. It's over. Some of y'all don't honor time, and so it don't honor you. Hmm? Types of types of procrastination. Passive procrastination. Passive. Delay the task because they have trouble making decisions and act. You have a problem making decisions. You are a passive procrastinator. You have problems making you. I, I don't know what to decide. I That's procrastination. I don't know what to decide. I don't, I don't know what to decide. Let me see. A, B, or C. I, mm, mm, huh? You're a procrastinator. You're just a passive procrastinator. Hmm? Delay the task purposefully because working under pressure allows them to feel challenged and motivated. That's an active procrastinator. Did, are y'all gone? Because y'all was, the chat was blowing up. I think y'all have passed out under the, under the power. Hmm? Delay the task purposefully. You delayed it on purpose because you, you, you like that pressure. You are an active procrastinator. It makes you feel challenged and motivated. And, and you know, you know, I'm going to add one. You know, you know what else, Prophet Jerry? Professional procrastinators, they low key love the limelight. Cause ain't nobody else working at the last minute. They like it. Oh, look at what she did. Look at what she did. Oh my God. Look at Barbette. Look, she's such a hard worker. Everybody else got they. Everybody else got they. Everybody else got they. If y'all know somebody need to be in here, y'all need to paint them in it. Share the room. Say Bishop getting us. Huh? 
a professional procrastinator, they do it on purpose because they love the attention. They loathe the attention. Look at Barbette, y'all. Oh, Barbette working so hard. Ain't nobody else doing nothing but me. I'm a you last minute. Ain't nobody praising you because you last minute and you want the attention. You attention seeker. Okay. 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 Uh, what about the perfectionists? Put off tasks out of the fear of not being able to complete a task perfectly. Huh? Perfect. You just a perfectionist, so you gonna put it off. It's still procrastination. Just speed it up a little bit. Be you a perfectionist. How about the dreamer? How about the dreamer? Huh? The dreamer. The dreamer puts off tasks because they are not good at paying attention to detail. They just dream about it. They never do it. They just dream about it. It's so many of them. I don't know which one you're guilty of now, Jerry. <laughs> the defier doesn't believe someone should dictate their time schedule. Lord, I'm going. I had somebody tell me this just last night. You don't control my time schedule. You don't tell me how to work. If I'm paying you, I tell you how to work. Then you don't need to work. If you, I, I know when I need it done. Are y'all listening to me? How you gonna tell somebody they paying you and you gonna tell them when you gonna have it done? You just micro, that ain't micromanagement. That means that if there's a micromanagement is if I give you a deadline and then I'm watching over you to get it done. Come on back up, Chastity. Huh? Just, just regulate my time. No, I ask you to have it done by the, the 29th of June at a certain time. That ain't no micromanagement. Huh? Y'all bring chat up. That's a defier. You're a, procra you're a defying pro procrastinator. You're a defying procrastinator. And then there's the worrier. Puts off tasks out of fear of change or leaving the comfort of the unknown. So I procrastinate doing it. But let me tell you something, happy hips. Let me tell you happy hips something. Change is going to come with or without you. You might as well dawn participate. Nina! 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 Change is going to happen with or without you. So you just going to wait and let it happen. Chad, I don't know if you want to be here. I've been trying to tell him to share the room. Oh, you done missed the good stuff. You, Chad, I ain't never told you this before. You need to replay this. Go back to the beginning. Hey, the, the, the warrior. I don't know how this gonna come out. I don't know. I don't know if leaving here. I don't know. 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 I'm so comfortable here. I know it's not where I'm supposed to be, but but yeah, I'm so comfortable, Chad. I'm so comfortable here. It's the worrier. We're talking about the types of procrastinators right now. The passive procrastinator, the active procrastinator, the perfectionist, the dreamer. But I'm talking about the defier. No, I'm talking about the worrier now. Puts off tasks out of fear of change or leaving the comfort of the unknown. The crisis maker puts off tasks because they like worrying under pressure. They like where I love pressure. Woo, give me some pressure. Give me some, pre baby, pressure. I'm 
to get that book done. Girl, I wrote that whole book in five days and it's a mess. It's a mess. There's typos, there's puncture, it's a mess. <laughs> hey y'all, I'm done teaching because y'all taking this personal. Huh? Nina brought me her book. I wish I could let her testify. Nina brought me her first book. I said, girl, what are you doing with this? Where, who who going to read this? Who is this for? Change it! I'm laughing at myself. Huh? Puts off tasks because they like working under pressure. I like to brag. I like to brag. You see what I did? And girl, I put this together in two days and it looks a hot mess. It looks a hot mess. Well, you gonna sell this out of your trunk in New York like the rappers did? Because you waited. You didn't put nothing into it because you are a procrastinator. These comments are wearing me out. You hear what I'm saying, chat? These comments. And then there's the overdo it. The overdoer. Y'all in here. Y'all in this room. I'm telling y'all, the offer today is repentance. Your seed is a repentance seed. Hmm? An overdoer. I'm trying to get y'all ready for the right one. This is where we prepare. Overdoer. Takes on too much and struggles with finding time to start and complete the task. You take on too much. You want to help everybody. You are a you are a master of everything. Oh, Ch Chastity, I'll do that for you. Oh, Ch I'm going to do that for you. Hey, Chanel, I'm going to do that for you. Hey, Carolyn, I'm going to do that for you. Prophetess Nina, I got you. Dr. Paulette, don't worry, I got it. I got it. I got all y'all. And you ain't got nobody. You ain't got nobody. Because you can't do all that. I told y'all what I think about multitasking. It's a lot of doing nothing. If you've not heard my message on the power of one thing, it's on my podcast the power of one thing so about a year or two ago the power of one thing one thing that i desire and that will i see the one thing opens everything but you trying to be multitasking it is the power of getting nothing done or overdo it they want to help everybody you nice but you can't help everybody you nice and everything but you can't have you gifted and everything but you never known for finishing nothing because you can never start nothing because you got too much. You're overdue. So those are the those are the those are the those are the types of procrastinators. I told you why people procrastinate. I told you the types. Now let me tell you the negative impact of procrastination. We're talking about stop putting it off. I'm three-fourths done. I'm three-fourths done. We're going to close class early. The negative impact of procrastination. Higher levels of stress and illness. Those that procrastinate have a higher level of stress and illness. My blood pressure has never been high because I don't let people put me under stress. I get things done. Procrastinators are stressed out because they try to do it at the last minute. Are y'all getting anything? Huh? Uh, uh, number two, 
Open your eyes, Chastity. Open your eyes. Uh, increased burden placed on social relationships. It burdens your social relationships. You fall out with people because you can't get stuff done. You lose jobs. People don't want to be bothered with folk that procrastinate. They are sluggard. Are y'all listening to me? Resentment from friends, family, and coworkers. They don't like you because they know everything you say is pretty much not going to happen. You know, you know those people? They say, okay, all right, I'll talk to you tomorrow. I'm going to get it done. I have it done for you tomorrow. And you'd be like, okay, um, um, what is today's date? The 29th? They will have it done probably by the, the 7th of two months from now. Girl, stop. That's so funny. Don't be that. That's not a compliment. When somebody know you lying to their face and you're not going to do what you say. That means you have no integrity. Boy, the chat, chat, the chat has slowed down. I mean, literally, it is at a grinding halt. Huh? Do you want to be that kind of people that they look at you and say, child, she's a procrastinator. She ain't got nothing done. You might as well get somebody else. You ever seen people chat, Paulette, that Paulette, that do good work, but you know you can't get it? Let me say that again. Let me make sure correct. Have you ever seen people you know that do good work, but the only thing about it is you ain't never going to get the work? Hmm? I said, have you ever seen people that they do amazing work, but the problem is you ain't never gonna get it. Nina Roger, if I could just get my work, so they'd rather go to somebody that's not a procrastinator and get substandard work than to go to somebody you know you ain't never gonna get your work. Boy, Bishop, preach, Bishop. Preach, preach. Y'all bring Shaniqua up. Is she up? Y'all gotta watch down there now. That's our that's our that's our that's our intercessor. Come on up. Um consequences of delinquent bills. There's a consequence. It's called it's called credit score. Uh, if you like me busy, then you might need to let all your bills come out of your account. I, my my hey hey, Prophet Shaniqua, Darwin, Chat, Pastor Antoine, Barbette, y'all, Nairobi, Dr. Paulette, Carolyn, all y'all, my lights wouldn't come on one day and I called the office. I said, hey, something wrong with my breaker or something. They sent the maintenance man up. Bishop, what's wrong? I said, look at this. Look, my lights, the breaker or something went out. It been storming. The guy went to the, Dr. Paulette, don't laugh at me. The guy, the guy went to the box. One of my friends at the building, I've been at the building nine years. He said, Bishop, ain't nothing wrong with your lights. Your lights are off. I said, my lights are off. I called the light company. They say, yeah, your lights are off for $70. I said, $70? Yeah, I said, $70? For some reason, auto pay had been taken off my light bill. Dr. Paulette, that was that was some years ago now. That was before COVID. Come on back. Yeah, he told me, pay your, pay your light bill, sir. 
they said, we know that it was a mistake. But all my bills are auto pay because of how busy and how much I travel. I know Nairobi, right? So I'm done. How do I overcome procrastination? How do I get it done? How do I stop putting it off? How do I stop lingering? How do I stop being under pressure? How do I stop having high blood? How do I, how? Number one, very easy. Make a freaking to-do list. It helps you keep on track. Put a due date on it. Next to each item. It's a master class chat. Number two, take baby steps. Hmm? Break down items on your list into small manageable steps so that you so that your tasks don't seem to be overwhelming. Take baby steps. You get overwhelmed because you try to do too much. Let me, let me give you another one. We're often taught to save the hardest thing for last when you should tackle the, the hardest thing first and get it over with. Don't let the hard thing that's hard. Some things are not hard. They're hard to you because you don't like doing it. Things become hard because you don't like doing it. When you don't like doing something, it becomes a task and not a pleasure. <laughs> Y'all not saying nothing. I'm teaching in here $500 this master class would have been. Huh? You don't take the hard thing and put it off because you don't like doing it. You do the hard thing first and get it over with so it's not hanging because it's going to be like, oh my God, I still got to do this. Oh my God, I got to still do this. Oh my God, I still, you procrastinate. Oh my God, I still, oh my God, I still got to do this. Mary Kay. She said, I um, I don't put too much on my to-do list every day. I put two or three things. Watch this. And I do the hardest thing first and everything else is easy. I do things that I know that are obtainable for the day so I won't feel bad at the end of the day when I don't do the things. So I don't put too much on my list. Y'all want to y'all want to dance? Y'all want me to? What y'all what y'all want me to do? Y'all want to y'all y'all want me to scream? Because the problem is we screaming too much and we ain't getting victory in our life. The problem is we want to talk about relationships, but we want better ourselves so that when the right one comes, we're a better version of ourselves. And I don't know about you, but I don't want to procrastinate. Well, I'm gonna marry somebody to get me together. No, you get your own happy tale together. Self-preservation. You get yourself together. Get yourself together. Get yourself together. Celeste is like, what have I walked into this room today? I'm done, y'all. I'm waiting for a man to come along and get me together. No. Nope. Sorry. They're not doing it. How to overcome procrastination, recognize the warning signs, pay attention to any thought of procrastination, do your best to resist the urge to put of putting things off, do yourself to resist the urge of putting things off. If you begin to think about procrastinating, force yourself to spend a few minutes working on your tasks. Recognize the warning signs. I want everybody today to sow a seed. I'm not done, but the seed just dropped. I want you to sow a seed of, of $21. That's it, $21.
Hmm? An anti-procrastination seed. A seed of twenty-one dollars. In fact, that's what the seed is today. Twenty-one dollars. You can double it if you want to. If you think that that's too little for this kind of work. Twenty-one dollars. Why twenty-one? Because twenty-one is the age that you become mature. There's some things that you legally can do. Twenty-one dollars. A seat of twenty-one dollars. Hmm. I will not procrastinate. Huh? I, I'm gonna stop putting it off. It's a stop putting it off seat. I'm gonna stop. Y'all bring Gregory up. I'm gonna stop putting it off. Twenty-one dollars or forty-two. Some of you can sell one twenty-one. If this see how big is this? Here's the question. How big is this word in your scheme of life? How big of how big of a how big of a thing is this in your life that you need to overcome procrastination? Huh? Be true to you. This is a big thing for some of y'all. This is the reason why you got prophetic words over your life and you cannot fulfill them. Because you are a procrastinator. Stop telling a lie on the prophet. He lied. It ain't came to pass. You procrastinated. There was a window of time. For 38 years, this man laid at the pool. I'm back on him. And procrastinated. He procrastinated movement. He procrastinated relationships. He procrastinated picking up his bed. He procrastinated. Year after year, 38 years, he just laid his tail there. Waiting for somebody to put him in. Some of y'all going to sow 121. I had no man to put me in, Jesus. You could at least try to roll yourself in. Roll, roll, roll your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, me I'm just talking. Huh? You are a procrastinator. Barbette, thank you for being honest. Hi, my name is Barbette and I'm a procrastinator. But you're not going to stay there. Because the last thing I want to tell you, you've got to eliminate distractions. You got to eliminate distractions. You got to eliminate distractions. <clears throat> hey, George. You got to eliminate. Hey, it's me, Tasha One. You got to eliminate distraction. Because procrastinators, what they do, if it's something better than the task, then they're going to procrastinate doing the task because something that something will always come up that's more interesting than a task. Something better. Am I in the vein or what? Is it just me? Something will always come up to distract you from doing what you really don't want to do, but you need to do. Hallelujah. 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 There's always something a little more interesting. There's always something a little more fun. Tasks are not to be fun, but to get you ahead. If you want to get rid of procrastination, eliminate distractions. Anything come. You... If, you, if it's something you really don't want to do, you will even talk to somebody you don't like on the phone. Well, I really don't like them, but I re it's, it's, better than, it's better than doing what I, what I don't want to do. You'll go out with somebody you don't even want to go out with rather than to do the task. Let me wake this up. There are some people in your life that you are procrastinating getting rid of. Woo! Huh? There are some people. I'm done with the notes now. I'm seeing. 
Huh? I'm moving on. Huh? There, there's some people, you know they ain't no good. You know they ain't no good. They're no good for you. They're no good to you. But you procrastinate. You're putting off the inevitable. Thank you, Miss Jackie. Thank you, Bernadette. Thank you, Fridia. Thank you, Barbette. Thank you, Chastity. Double and SE. Christy Chat. Thank you, Chat. Fresh Oil Nina. Thank you for doubling. Chanel, bless you. Purpose Zeal. No, that's before. I'm sorry. Thank y'all. If if it's if you gave other than cash app, I can't call it until I get rid of the. There are some people you are procrastinating. You know they no good. You know they no good. You knew it from the first day. We talking about first day just that. You know they no good. 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 Why are you putting off getting rid of them? You know they no good. You know they no good. You know they no good. Huh? You know they're no good. But you put you putting on, you know y'all ain't vibing. You know, you know, you know y'all arguing every day. Why are you why are you why are you procrastinating getting them out of your life? Some of y'all know y'all need a new car. You procrastinating. I don't want a note. You don't know what's gonna happen when you get to the dealership. You don't know what's going to happen when you get to the deal. You don't know what's going to happen when you get to the dealership. But you procrastinating. You won't even you won't even call it. Hey. You won't even call the real estate agent. I was laying in bed meditating on this word last night. And y'all know I want to, I want to, I want a place in Miami. That's where I want to reside most of the time. And as I'm teaching this lesson, I'm talking to myself. So I, I start going to the, to the, to the, to, to, to Zillow and, and rent.com and all in places. I put it off because the prices doubled in Miami because everybody was moving there during the COVID. But I promise you. I promise you, I'm getting ready. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you something about me. When I zero in on what I want, like when I zero in, it's over. It's done. You might as well move out my way. You might as well, when I zero in on it and say, this is it, that's for bringing to me and getting rid of. When I say I want to bring it to me, and I zero in it and I lock in on it, it's over. When I say I'm done, it's like you never lived. You never lived. I'm not nasty to you, but it's like you never lived. Huh? Oh, hey. No feelings, no nothing. Once I eliminate the distraction and zero in on it, it's like, hey, Shade, good to see you, Shana. It's like, oh, you over there? It may take me a minute, Cedric. The soul of the sluggard craves and gets nothing. The lazy procrastinator gets nothing. Nothing! While the soul of the diligent is richly supplied. Crabs don't get nothing. They just pull people down. The ant who works together diligently. Are y'all listening to me? The hand of the diligent will rule while the slothful will be put to forced labor. Those that are not procrastinators, they don't have to work as hard and labor as hard. Those that are procrastinators running around like a chicken with the head cut off because they waited till the last minute. That ain't cute. 
That ain't cute. I'll do it tomorrow. You don't know what tomorrow holds. You don't even know if you're going to be a Do it while you got breath in your body. Do it while you got life in your body. Do it. The act of putting things off the land and postponing something. Because you don't like it. Get up from there. Get up from there. Get up from there. Get up from there. That weight ain't gonna fall off of you. You gotta exercise. Tomorrow, tomorrow, there's always a shut up. That weight ain't just gonna fall off. You done took all them pills and all them diets and all that. You're gonna have to exercise and change your lifestyle. Them clothes ain't gonna move out of the closet that you can't wear no more. You're gonna have to box them up. Hey, your car ain't just gonna magically get clean. A man ain't just act ain't gonna knock at your door and he's the right one. You gotta get out there and do something. You gotta do something. That house ain't gonna get cleaned up just by looking at it. You got a lot of power, but you ain't got that kind of power. That business plan ain't gonna just work itself. You gotta work it. That 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 invention is not just gonna. Stop putting it off. What are you putting off? I did, get up from there. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. We heard Bishop Jake say, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. No, we ready. Get up. You're sowing that seed of 20, 21 for maturity. There are three people that's going to give 121. I don't know who you are. I'm getting over my procrastination. Deshaun, bless you. I'm getting over my, I don't know if I said Bernadette. I'm getting over my procrastination. I'm getting over my delay. I'm getting over my waiting. In Jesus' name. The woman with the issue of blood. She said, if I can just touch, and she touched. You know, you know, you know why some of y'all worried? You know why some of y'all worried about, about whether it's gonna happen or not? Because you procrastinated so long. And now you worried about if you still got enough time. If you start today. Like right now. Like soon as I say go with God the second time. If you start working on it now, you still got time. But some of y'all, y'all going to need to hit his word three times to get you up. I know I say this all the time, Dr. Dr. Paulette that this is probably the most important word that I, I could teach y'all. It is. And then I'll find one that's more important than this. But pro procrastination is a sin. It says it right in the scripture. I just, I read it. No, Bishop, it ain't no sin. James 14, four, James 4 and 17, Linwood. So whoever knows the right thing to do and fails to do it, for him, it is a sin. It's sin. You sinning, sinning, not doing what you're supposed to do. I thought when you just have adultery and fornication and lying, no, you are sinning. Here, you know supposed to do what you're supposed to do. You know what you're called to do. You know you're an entrepreneur and you still sitting there, procrast I'm going to leave this job. I'm going to leave this job next year, Bishop. I'm leaving this job next year. I'm leaving this job next year. I'm going to have, I'm Bishop. I'm going to do it now, Bishop. I'm going to do it next year, Bishop. Bishop, stay out of my business now. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I got to get in your business. I'm sorry. Bishop, I'm going to do Teresa, 
I'm a bishop. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it next year because everything going to be right. It ain't going to be right next year. It ain't going to be right the year after. There ain't never going to be right time. There's never no right time. Because you know the right time, the night time is the right time, Lucinda, to be with the one I love. There's never a right time. Stop putting it off. Bless y'all on TikTok, Facebook, Twitter. Instagram. I see y'all later. You're sowing to see the twenty-one dollars. Twenty-one dollars. Forty-two. One twenty-one. You even procrastinating in your giving. Oh, I'm gonna get that seed one day. I'm gonna say this with all. I got in me. Some of you were supposed to give a thousand dollar seed months ago, but you procrastinated it. You were supposed to start tithing months ago, but you procrastinated it. Delayed obedience is disobedience. Bless y'all on TikTok, Instagram. I love y'all. I love y'all. Bless y'all. Facebook, love you. I appreciate y'all. Give that seed. 